Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. So I at least want to try to get through two cities, or two sections. But, we came straight south of the Gold Saucer. Across the river. This is the Gungaga River. Now there's two things you could do. We could head straight to where we need to go. Which I think is that town over there. But I want to actually head this way. There's this weird looking crater impact site. Let's see... I gotta I think I gotta get out of here. There we go. Now, is someone there? It's these two. Hey, rude. Who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Hmm. That's a tough one. But poor Elena. She. You. No, she liked Seng. I never knew that, but Seng likes that ancient. Oh god, what are they talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't, but Seng is different. Oh, oh no, you just realized who you're talking to? They're here, they're really here! <laughs> huh, then it's time. Rude, don't go easy on them, not even the girls. Don't worry. I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sang. It's been a while. Payback time for what you did in Sector 7. Sector 7? Out of our way. I don't really like being taken for a fool. That's as far as we go. Now here's the thing about this battle. You want to try to beat them both at the same time. So I'm going to use Sense to try to keep track of HP. Ow! Cast Bolt level 2. Oh yeah, I also upgraded my skills. They're both around level 2. Or they're all around level 2, I should say. Fire, Ice, Thunder. But what you want to do is try to get them around the same HP. And you want to kill them both in the same turn. The reason being is that they both drop really, really good things. Wow. Okay. Y'all need to... Chill. Attack him, attack him, attack him. 106, come on. Don't let him go. No! Dang it, he was so low. Ah, oh, I almost had him. He had like 40 HP. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so I missed out on like 700 EXP there. And an, basically an all heal. But I do get this. This is the important thing. The fairy tale is the one you want to get for sure. How could they know we were coming here? They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then that means... A spy, maybe? No. No way. I don't even know what to think about there being a spy. I trust everyone. Alright, I'm gonna switch out my party though. Mm. For that. Now, before we head out, there is some more stuff we can pick up here. Okay, so thing number one you want to do is go back out here. We're going to go ahead and equip Aerith's uh, new weapon here. The, the wizard staff was good, but the fairy staff, or the fairy tail, is actually her second best weapon in the game, apparently. So, I'm going to do that. And as you can see, boatload of materia slots. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start equipping some materia. See what I have left over. Might as well add the, the Rama one. Uh, no. EHS. Take Teeth over Barret right now, I think. Alright. Ooh, wait. I should go heal. That'd be a smart thing to do. I'll use the tent. That's fine. All 
All right, so let's go this way. So we head this way. Here we go. A ruined reactor. It's Scarlet, the head of the Shinra weapon development. All right, time to hide. Hmm, this isn't any good either. We only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor's a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. Have you seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we could make the ultimate weapon if only we had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, weapons development's budgets are getting bigger. I envy them. But, even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Haydigger even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot that Haydigger was your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Big, large, huge materia? An ultimate weapon? The perfect weapon? Just what are the Shinra up to? So, if we have a glance over here. What was it she was looking? Oh, fudge. There's something shiny back there. Let's reach for it. The Titan Materia. What does this do? I don't know, but I want to give it to Aerith. Titan. Summons Titan. Of course, another summon. Look at that, I've got all the elemental summons. Fire, ice, lightning, and earth. I mean, it's probably not all of them, but I don't really care. So now, let's go check out the other side of the fork in the road. Now, apparently that frog has a good ability called Frog Song that I could learn. Might pick up an enemy material to learn that. Ooh. The death blow material. Oof. Sounds interesting. All right, so let's head this way instead. Oh. Morning, someone, huh? A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Oh. So that's what happened. A ruined reactor. I could climb this? Or, oh, okay, there's a person here. You want something? Buy weapons? Let's see, the hard edge, weak, grand glove. Whoa, significantly better. I'll buy one. Atomic scissors. Not by much. Diamond pins the same, boomerangs the same, and paler. Oh, cast one to change one into a frog, okay. Hmm. Guess I'll do that. What does death blow, death blow do? Just curiosity. I don't know. Alright. Hear a story. Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety. And this, this is the result. Wow. Shortest story ever, my guy. Talk to this lady. Uh, did you want something? Oh, you have a story too, huh? Protects against sleep, protects. Ooh, mystifying time. Heal, transform. I have two equip transforms. I don't have mystify or time yet. So, I think I'm gonna sell some stuff just to get those too.
All right, let's hear a story. People can live without the Shinra's Maker Reactors. I'm gonna disable this button because it's starting to get on my nerves now. All right, yeah, I already heard your story. Shin oh, ooh, wait, it can continue. We voted to outlaw the use of Mako energy and live with the nature ever since the explosion. People, okay, so it's just the two dialogue options, that's all you get? Now I gotta go back and see what this guy was actually gonna say. One day a huge explosion killed many of the townspeople. It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find the pieces it left all over town. Alright, so that's that's it. So town explosion happened three years ago. And they decided, eh, no more Mako energy. We're done with Shinra. We live off the land, off of nature. What do you have? Oh, you're here to shop? No, nope, I'm here to hear a story. It's been a while since the explosion because oh. Same dialogue, my guy. Shinra built the reactor with uh, and this is the result. Are y'all gonna say the same thing? Okay. Ooh, cutscene. You're a traveler. Hey, wait. That glow in your eye. Are you in soldier? Oh, you're yeah, right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. Oh, It's been close to 10 years since he left for the city, saying that he wouldn't, didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of a Zack and Soldier? Hmm, I don't know. Zack. Young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote us about six or seven years ago saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? That can't. Zack. What happened to you two? See, there's a reason why I said oof. It's because I know what happens. I'm not going to spoil it, though. Aerith. Oh, whoops, wrong. What a shock. I didn't know that Zack was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. Zack. Soldier first class. Same as Cloud. Strange. There aren't that many who make it first class, but I've never heard of him. That's alright. It's in the past now. I was just worried because I heard he's been missing. Missing? It was five years ago. He went out on a job and never came back. He loved women. A real ladies, man. He probably found someone else. Hey, what's wrong? Poor guy. I don't really mind that I haven't heard from him, but I feel for his parents. Let's go, Cloud. Oh boy. Zack. Do you know him? No, I don't know him. Your face tells me differently. I told you I don't. Alright. That sounds just like you. Leaving town and saying, I'm joining Soldier. There were a lot of guys like that back then. He must have been really something making in soldier out of a group like that. I really respect you. I worked hard for it. Hard work pays off, huh? Cloud, thanks for caring. Alright, come on, Diva. Let's see, who's in this house? This is Gongala Village. Many people died here in a makeup reactor explosion. The Shinra people told us that everyone would be happy once the reactor was built, but all it brought us was sadness. Alright, yep, I heard that one already. Wait, I see you have a box. Ooh, the white M phone. I don't know what that is. But that's a thing I have now. Can I go back into Zach's house? Talk to you people? Uh, have you ever met anyone in a soldier named Zach? I mean, I'm sorry, guys. Now he hasn't reached out in, you know, 10 years. Uh, need something? Shouldn't have built the re- Oh, no. Not that again. What you got? An X potion. 
Hey, that makes up for the one I didn't get earlier. I'll take it. So that's an inn. And that is just about it for Gangala Village. Or Gungaga Village. I wonder what's this way. Oh, it's a world map. That's convenient. Now, I might come back here later just to go get that frog song thing. Because you can get that as an enemy skill and it's a super useful uh, status debuff. Turns everyone into frogs. So now what you want to do is head back to your buggy. And not get out of the buggy. And so this is the way you want to go. Let's see if I remember where to go here. There's the crossable section, so you go this way. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Cosmo Canyon should be up here. So there's the building that you want to go to. Now, apparently, if you go too close, your buggy breaks down. So let's just park and go on foot. I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hi to the Bungenhagen. Nanaki? Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Uh, no. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to study the... F to seek the study of planet life. Umang. I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Please, come in. Awesome. So this is basically life school. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Oh, so Red 13 is just Nanaki. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who created and appreciated this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so, the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Grandpa. That's perfect. Why don't we take a break, too? We can meet back here in a while, okay? Okay. Well, bye. Alright, well, let's go, go this way. Where are you, kid? Can I talk to you? Maybe? I don't know. So this is Cosmo Canyon. Quite a mysterious place. Have you come to seek the study of planet life? Uh, sure. Yeah, I heard there's an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I have the chance. Let's uh, go this way, see what's up here. Hey, it's a shop. Looking for anything in particular? Um, don't see that being useful right now. I already spoke to you. I didn't realize this was a door. Is that so? You brought Nanaki back here? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Welcome. How about our original cocktail, the Cosmo Campbell? A drink now and then is good for you. It'll help you relax if you know when to stop. Let's go anywhere.
Hmm. Well, that's not very important. I'm sure something was going to happen there later, but I don't know. Welcome to the Shildra Inn. Shildra. I guess. Have a great dream of the stars. Or was just chilling there. Okay. Turtle's Paradise, number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in the Turtle's Paradise. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's a thing. Uh, is there really anything else to do here? Besides that, and there is the slider here. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Looks just like a dead end. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up here. So we're gonna move on. Tiger Lily Aries shop? The people of this canyon hate to compete, so almost everything here are replicas. But that's alright. Some of them you really can use. Butterfly Edge. Tiger Fang. Heavy Vulcan. The Prism Staff. Hmm. I'm gonna need to do some farming for sure to get some of those weapons. Where did I put it? I know it's around here somewhere. What are you looking for, dude? Help if I knew what you're looking for. Let's try this way then. Oh man, I'm so busy. I need more help. Humble complained. Okay. It's not really that useful, I guess. 
So that room's a butt dud. Got your change. Yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? I'm sorry, we do hardly ever get it, but I do have confidence in our material. Okay. Um. No, I'm good. I'll farm up some more before I do any of that stuff. I got a feeling that's where I'm supposed to go, but I'm gonna wait. I want to explore a little more. Or, or maybe not. Okay, so apparently the other way just gives you a nice shot of Cosmo Canyon, so I don't care about that way. Let's go this way. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredible. He knows everything. Oh, ho, ho. I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Holy Jesus. Oh, ho, ho. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. You see, in his 48 years, it would only be the equivalent of saying a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? He's just an edgy boy. Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you in the village. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! No, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies. <laughs> it may be tomorrow or maybe even a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planets. Because that's not morbid at all. What's that? The sound of the stars in the heaven. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ooh, 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 that was the scream from the planet. Don't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? I keep changing his voice. <laughs> to save the planet. <laughs> but then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Bugenhagen. Several odd looking people are here. The whole place has suddenly got busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. Oh, I'm gonna find a proper voice for Red besides just Cloud. Hmm, now the question is who to get. Of course Yuffie's in here. God, I hate studying. Oh, okay. I just gotta talk to anyone. I can bring anyone with me. Take Aerith, I guess? Aerith and Tifa, let's go. Bugenhagen. Oh, whoops. Here, over here, the door's unlocked. Come in. Oh, looks like you've gathered them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand here.
It's so pretty. It's just like the real thing. Mm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star! Wow, how wonderful. <laughs> oh yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts and their souls? The soul too returns to the planet. And not only those of all humans, but in fact of everything living on this planet. All living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Spirit energy is the source of life and fur, trees, birds, and humans. And not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spirit energy were to disappear, These are the basics of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, then our planet will die. <laughs> spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and proceeded and processed in Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Well then. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. I mean, where do I go to those words? Where do I hear these words? So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking all this time. Oh, so apparently his father might not be a coward? Not gonna go back in there, but... Where do I go now? Down here, maybe? Probably.
So this is the way you actually want to go. You want to go all the way back down to the beginning. There's the squad. Oh, I can walk here. What a boring place, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Oh, okay. It's, okay. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. Oh, wait. Whoops. <clears throat> Cosmo Canyon. That's... This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday, when we saved the planet from Shinra, that we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon to celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse... Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hate Shinra. But is it right to go on? Will they... Will they ever forgive me? Right now, I don't know. But I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet, or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Again. Again, Avalanche has been born again. Okay. So that's what that was. I thought it was a cutscene. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. So you've been here before? I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things. About the Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm you. We're here for you, right? I know. I know, but I'm the only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? Aw. Poor Cloud, he just wants to be friends. Cloud. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago? It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... Everyone here is a ghost of the Gear tribe, killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear, and they couldn't return to the life stream. We still have far to go. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, so... I just walk. Walk patiently. And there we go. Added effect materia. I'll take it. Alright, no running through there. That's oil. You will slide and die. So let's go this way. Now we head this way. Ooh, the store got to level up. Nice. A black megaphone.
There we go. MP fully restored. Let's go this way. Nothing? Nothing. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. Even though the Gi outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because the passage was too narrow. Hmm. Let's move on. There's gotta be a way down there. I'll figure it out. It's something further up. Oh, five. Okay. Uh. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's just a big spider. Oh, I'm so going to use that right now. Actually, wait, maybe not. Maybe just two eye potions. Yeah, I should be fine with that. Let's see. Anything else I can do here? No? Here we go again. Alright, so if I'm lucky, not do that. Uh, it led me to nowhere. Oh, I see. So I just somehow missed that entry point, I guess. It's within the tunnel, it's really weird. But, I got it. Alright, so what I want to do is definitely X Potion. Both of the boys. I don't have any more of the other potion. I do have elixirs. A turbo either you. Quip. Let's see what do I got. What? Oh, did I sell your double growth weapon? Oh no. Did I do a big goof? I think I did. Oh no, that's not good. Yep, I did a big oof and sold the wrong thing. Whatever, I'll just have to deal. Alright, Stinger, oh my lord. Nutsukai. Healing Wind. Oh, level two. Actually, no. Let's do fire level two. This might kill the spider like ten times faster. There we go. Cure level two and all my allies, yes. Ow. Cross slash it. And there we go. Battle's over. This warrior went through the cave all alone. 
fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. Ooh, hoo, hoo, we're almost there. Okay. Can I get to this? Oh, yes, I can. Turbo Ether. Nice. Let's grab this and go. What is this? Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghosts of the Gi. Like stagnant air. This can't be. Oh god, the jaw moves. Okay. Uh. Gi Natak. Ice magic, I guess. What? Fire two? On who? On Aerith, okay. So this is a boss? Ginatok? Oh yep, definitely a boss. Weak against holy. Which means I can heal it to death. And there we go, the boss is down. Now, halfway through the battle, I found out there are two very easy ways to do it. One, Phoenix Downs. Literally just cast the Phoenix Down on it. You have a one in four chance of one-shotting it. Because, you know... You know, that's just how the boss works. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived. Tanaki, you have grown strong too. Oh yeah? Now that I know it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you. Right over here. Now, as I was saying, it turns out you can one-shot the boss one of two ways. If you're lucky, Phoenix down it, it dies. The other thing, the X potion. Undead enemies, especially since they can be targeted. Gravity material, nice. Since they can be targeted, you can use an X potion on it. X potion heals you to full. It's going to kill it instantly. This is... The warrior who fought against the Gi. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father, the warrior, Seto. Dang, his dad died proud. He stood his ground and he said, nah, y'all ain't coming in. Even filled with like arrows and spears. That's, that's Seto? Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. Even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us even now. Even now. You thought that he was a coward and ran away. But he, he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That's... is Seto? Did mother know? Ooh, she knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. Cloud, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Poor Redman. Also, it's a good thing I brought Aerith, because she's the only one that has heals. Nanaki, I want you to journey, or continue to journey with Cloud and the others. Grandpa? Listen, Nanaki. Cloud says that they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But Nanaki, I have been thinking lately. 
I've been thinking if there was anything we could do as a part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? Am I too old to do anything about it? This year I'll be 130. This is why, Nanaki, you must go with them, for my sake. Grandpa. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I am so glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Ooh. Well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet, and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki. I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. That's Seto's. Seto. Seto. Father. Shall we get going? So this is it. Red 13? That's just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. Alright. Let's take Aerith and Tifa. Because that's the party I'm going to stick with for now. Let's go, crew. Wait for me, I'm coming too. Hmm? Cloud, please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Oh, wow, wow, okay. -hoo -hoo. Come back whenever you need my knowledge. Well, I guess Red 13's coming with us. Time to get back in the buggy. But I think we're going to leave this episode off here, guys. We did go through uh, two little bits, or not little, but decently large sized portions of backstory. One for Aerith and Tifa regarding Zack. It seems like there's a mystery regarding Cloud and whatever happened five years ago. I think that was Nibelheim. And. Um, we got the backstory for Cosmo Canyon and Red 13, or I should say Nanaki. So now we can actually understand and appreciate what he's been doing and what he's going to try to do. So next up, I got to figure out where we're going. So I will check that out, figure out where we're going, and then we'll go ahead and do that in the next episode, guys. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and if you aren't already subscribed, and join the Curly Crew. And I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.